Yes, guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I am Adam McCorner. We're outside Old Trafford where Manchester United have beaten Newcastle 4 1 thanks to goals. Two goals from Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford, and Mason Greenwood. It was Mason, Marcus, and Martial scoring the goals for us. All the M's today, and it was a tasty win in the end, but it didn't start off great for Manchester United at all today. Um, after Longstaff had got another goal uh, for Newcastle against Manchester United, and it was a goal that was coming in that first half. I'm not going to lie. Manchester United's football was slow, turgid, ponderous. We kept overthinking everything. We weren't getting forward enough. We weren't committing enough men going forward. We weren't bombing um, at the Newcastle defence. Um, and they were. They were committing men forward. They were getting forward. They were finding it way too easy to pick holes into Manchester United. And they created a number of chances just before that goal came. When the goal did come, it was a goal that was on the way and we could all see coming in the ground. And it was one of them moments where we all went, oh. We could feel it coming, it came, they got the 1-0 goal and you were thinking and feeling the worst for Manchester United. But luckily, we had a reaction from the team. Luckily, the boys responded. And it was in that first half as well where the countless goals came. And the first goal came from Luke Shaw finally trying to beat someone. I'd seen him get on the ball so many times. He doesn't want to go beyond his opposition fullback. He doesn't want to push to the byline enough. And for me, that's why Brandon Williams should be in his Manchester United side. He does want to do those things. We've seen him win the penalty in the Europa League at Belgrade, I think it was. Um, and we've seen him score goal against Sheffield United. And I feel he offers way more going forward. And maybe in games, at home, for me, Brandon Williams is the man. But when Luke Shaw did finally try to beat someone today, he made something happen and he played a huge part in the first goal. Anthony Martial received the ball from Andreas Pereira, who I thought had a decent game today in that first half, creating opportunities for Manchester United and looking a lot better on the ball with his decision making. And he gave the ball to Anthony Martial. Anthony Martial shoots at the near post, gets a little bit of luck after a mistake from Dubravka and it goes into the net and then it's 1-1 from there and you're feeling yes we're back into the game now let's make this count and boy did we make it count we kept pressuring we kept making them make mistakes in front of their own goal Mason Greenwood picks up the ball flies a shot in and it's a fantastic goal I think it took a deflection on the way but it was a wow hit strike hit the bar went down went back up hit the net it was one of those goals that you love to go in and you love to watch it go in as well because when it hit the bar and went up it was just perfect viewing um, and it was a great goal by Mason Greenwood to get that strike in as well and then we did get another goal just after that as well and it was Aaron Wambasaka with a fantastic ball in the final third whipping the ball onto Marcus Rashford's head boom back post Marcus Rashford buries the opportunity and Marcus Rashford scoring a header within and around the six yard box is what we want to see from him especially coming in off that left flank how many times we whip balls into the box no one on the back post so it was great to see him there and it was great to see that delivery from Aaron Wan-Bissaka as well. But I've got to say the start for Manchester United was not the one that we wanted. But thankfully we had that response and we woke up because it was way too easy for Newcastle at that point. We got to half time, 3-1 up. Second half we get another early goal for Anthony Martial and he went through on the goal and it was such a delightful finish by Anthony Martial. I've got to say as he, he picked up the ball from the defender it was a poor pass across the box. But again, it comes from Manchester United pressing, being um, on the front foot, trying to force something, trying to get mistakes out of this Newcastle defence. Anthony Martial runs onto the ball. I thought he had allowed the Bravka to close the space a little bit and, and maybe I thought he wasn't going to get the chance and take the chance and score the goal. But a little bit of delicacy, a little bit of finesse, thinks that ball over the keeper. It's 4-1 to Manchester United. He could have had a hat-trick after he hit the post a little bit later on with a perfect shot right into the corner. I say perfect. If it was perfect, it would have went in, but it was a very accurate shot, which he just whipped um, and he hit the post. And it was unfortunate not to get to see Anthony Martial score his first hat-trick for the club today. But we did get the opportunity to take him and Rashford off and protect them and wrap them up in cotton wool a little bit with about 25 minutes to go, especially with that game coming up against Burnley within 48 hours. So it was a very good result for Manchester United. A very good performance particularly between us going one nil down and then going four one up i thought it was a perfect performance obviously after that you expect us to drop off the gas a little bit take our foot off the ball great to see paul pogba getting 45 minutes today coming in because i thought in that first half our midfield wasn't quite good enough in the first half uh, mctominay got booked after 30 seconds and generally didn't have a great game and we've seen a dip in his form over the last few weeks. I thought Fred started off badly, but grew as the game went on. It was the right decision to take Scott Tamane off because despite his form, we don't want him to get suspended. And it did feel like it was just on the verge of getting a second yellow card. Thankfully, he didn't get that though. Um, and hopefully now, 
we can move on. We've got Paul Pogba into this team. Where do we fit him in? Do we put him in that number 10 where I thought Andreas did okay today, but still we know he's not a Paul Pogba and he's not at the level of the player that we want to be starting week in, week out in that position. Um, where do we play him in the midfield or a bit further forward? How will we set up going against Burnley? All these things remain to be answered and the Burnley game is an interesting one. I'm worried about it. I ain't getting carried away by this because we've seen Manchester United get these results before. We've seen Manchester United show inconsistency before and we still haven't won enough games on the road. We're yet to win back-to-back -back Premier League games on the road and we need to get more better performances on the road. Burnley's going to be a difficult game. They're not going to leave much space for us. They're not going to leave much gaps. We have to think outside the box. We have to try and do something different. And I think Paul Pogba starting against Burnley could be vital. Could be vital. That little bit of something extra to unlock the defence that maybe we will need. It was good to see an improved performance from Andreas Pereira today. And it was good to see a few goals coming from Manchester United today as well. Anthony Martial was my man of the match. I thought even without the goals, his all-round performance was pretty good. And I think he's been in for some unfair criticism recently. So it was great to see Anthony Martial scoring. Shame he didn't get that hat trick. Mar Marcus Rashford scoring again. And Mason Greenwood adding more as well. We're getting goals from our front three. And I said the target for Mar uh, Martial and Rashford had to be 50 goals between them combined. And I'd like to say they're on target for that now. But they have to keep it off. And Manchester United have to keep this off as well. We've got no time for complacency. And we have to work out this tricky Burnley game coming up right on the heels of this one. So can't get carried away. It was a great day here at Old Trafford today. A more Boxing Day goal. So keep it locked to full-time Devils. We've had a few issues with the camera today, as you can see. And um, the usual quality on this review. But the camera was in action for some of our fan camps. So they're going to be up on the channel as well. We had KG the Comedian, Andy Tate, Steve and Arsene, and plenty more. So keep it locked for them. Make sure you like and comment and share and subscribe. And for now, I've been Adam McCola. I'm out of here.